Hello everyone and happy spring. Today I'm going to show you how to get this very dramatic cat eye look. I'm going to get the spring wing just because it is bold but the lips are so pastel that it looks more springy. I go through a few lipstick looks because I wasn't sure what kind of pink and I think this is the perfect pink for this lips. So to start off, I'm going to use some chapstick and eye primer. These are just basics that everyone should have. The one that I like is by Too Faced and the chapstick is by Chapstick. Okay, now I'm just going to take a vanilla shade. I'm using my semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. I'm just using um, colors here, so I'm just going to use a vanilla shade. And here I'm going to use a matte chocolate color for the crease. So anything you have in your collection will work. And you also want to wing out the crease color because that's really going to kind of draw a map for the wing that we're doing next. So just in that kind of motion. Here I am going with a shimmering peach color or vanilla color. And that's it for the eyeshadows. It's just a very basic eyeshadow look. Now I'm going to show you how to tight line and the different tight lightning, tight lining mix. So first, I'm going to kind of show you how I stamp my uh, black eyeshadow. And I'm just stamping it right on my lash line just to really make my lashes look a lot fuller and like there's a lot more than there is. Here you can see the difference. And I'm also doing the same to the lower lash line and you can see a huge difference on the lower lash line. I'm not putting it on the waterline, just right under the lashes. So there you see the difference. Now here I'm going to tight line and I wanted to show you the difference so that you can see what outlining your eye is and what lining the inside of your eye is and there's a huge difference. Lining the inside like I'm doing here or tight lining really benefits those with larger eyes like mine but if you have smaller or close set eyes this really will not look that flattering on you. So you want to go with the tight lining on the outside of the lash line like I did previously. There you see um, the big difference between tight lining on the inside and on the outside. So I am going to go ahead and tight line on the outside on both eyes just to make them even. And on the inside because I just really want it very dark and very black. And that's what I think is really going to look flattering on my eye shape. Now I'm going to create the wing. First I just stamp it right where I want it and then I bring the line in kind of making a little outer triangle like this and then obviously you just fill in that lash line. If you want to hold your eye taut that will work too but I just really don't like doing that because it does um, give you premature wrinkles. And here the eye looks with a very dramatic wing. And I'm also putting this on the lower lash line as well on that uh, water line. And this is just going to really uh, make my eyes look a little bit more edgy and less. It's a little bit more of like a cat eye instead of just a wing. Now I'm going to use a liquid eyeliner and this is just the one by Clinique. And it's very matte and very black and just one of my favorites. I like using this one in particular because it is hypoallergenic and it doesn't make my eyes water. I have eye allergies, especially in the springtime, and anything will make my eyes water. So I like using this mascara or this eyeliner. All right, now I'm going to do the same to the other eye. You don't have to go as dramatic as I am with the wing, but I think putting a liquid over the shadow really makes the difference. The shadow is just kind of like a map for the liquid liner. Now if you went a little outside of the line, that's okay. You can just take a q-tip and blend it out. I always film these in the morning so I always drink a little bit of coffee. This mug is a little set that I got with my husband. Alright, now I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm just going to show this quickly because I do this all the time. The mascara I'm using, or before that I'm going to use an eyelash primer. This is by Dior and it is very unnecessary, but I feel like it's super necessary just because I don't use falsies on a regular basis and 
priming my eyes, eyelashes really helps the mascara. The one I'm using is the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced because it is a very dramatic, like full fat lash kind of mascara, so I really like it. And I am putting on two coats. You can put on falsies if you want to, but on a regular basis, I don't really want to. Here I'm still cleaning up that liner. Alright, now I'm going to go with the Peachy Blush because it's subtle, but it's still um, very pretty and gives my face a little bit of a flush. I've already contoured and I haven't highlighted yet. The highlighter I'm using is from ColourPop. It's called Wink, I think. I'll list all the details down below um, on my blog actually, which will be linked down below. And I like putting this on with my fingers and I love how it makes my cheeks stand out. It makes me look like I have cheekbones when in actuality I do not. And the contour really helps um, appear that I have cheekbones. So I learned this thing in art class about chiaroscuro and it is started in Italy and it's just a way to really highlight your face so I've kind of been doing that lately and I've noticed a huge difference especially um, with my cheeks because I have very large cheeks. Alright so first I wanted to try this kind of violet color. This is from Milani and I just thought since I was wearing olive I wanted to give it a shot but honestly I didn't like it at all. So I went ahead and took that off but there is that if you want to see. I wanted to go with the baby pink but this is a little bit too bright so it, this is more like a Barbie pink and it just makes a huge difference. I wanted it more baby than Barbie. So I still like this one but just not for this eye look. It's a little bit too dramatic. So I wanted to kind of fix that Barbie look and I wanted to put a pastel pink over it. This one is from MAC. It's one of the Viva Glam lipsticks. But it just still had a cooler undertone and it just made my lips look so Barbie. It just didn't go. So in case you kind of wanted that Barbie look, there you have that. But I went with a more um, warm pink color. This is from... Lorac. It's called Girl Next Door. And this really is the kind of pinky peach, like apricot, apricot y pink that I go for. And it looks so much better. It makes such a difference the right color pink that you choose. So if you have to go through a few, that's quite all right. But yeah, this is the look. I hope that you like it and just mess up your hair and you're out the door. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for subscribing. If you are, if you haven't, uh, go ahead and subscribe. That way you can get your uh, my videos right on your channel. So I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye!